Hey pals. So, we're in a little bit of a situation. <laughs> it is currently afternoon on a Thursday. And I signed up for a craft show that is on Saturday afternoon. The problem is, I haven't done a craft market since last October. It is May right now. So I have no stock, uh, or very little stock. And all of my craft show supplies are at my parents' house. So I have barely any stock. Um, I have no idea what my setup is going to be. And I have to be there in 48 hours. So lucky for you guys, <laughs> you get to come with me to uh, frantically figure this out. I did crochet some stock yesterday. So if you guys want to see that how much can I crochet in a uh, 12 hours video, that is already up. So yeah, let's get ready and go do something because we have a lot of it to do. I'm ready to go. I did my hair, kind of. I don't know if it was the super slow morning I had or the uh, workout that I just did. I'm feeling pretty good today. Oh wait. Can't forget the bag. Does anyone else try to uh, dress as gay as possible when they go to their hometown? <laughs> I'm gonna head to my parents, pick up all my craft show stuff because I need to go through that in order to figure out what I actually still need to buy for the show. Don't know if I'll even show you that, but I will. See you later. stuff is acquired. I had a lot less stuff than I remember. My plan was to go to a thrift store after I stopped by my parents and my dad was going to a resale store so I went with him and now we are just gonna go visit my mom and have a drink and get some dinner and then uh the work continues. Do you guys like this really weird filming angle? This is a new car and I don't have a, a go-to filming setup in here yet, so we're gonna do this uh, little artsy creative take. Um, so I just visited my mom, had some really good food, and I still have enough time in the day to go to Goodwill. So I'm gonna go to Goodwill and I'm gonna stop at my Starbucks and I will update you shortly. Alright, enough messing around. I got my caffeine, which is probably a mistake because it's uh, 7 p.m. and I'm at the Goodwill and we're finally doing show prep stuff. So what I need to find is um, four things. They're not absolutely necessary but I really want to find them. One is like a cool tablecloth that will fit a four foot table because I only have a black tablecloth and I think it's boring. Um, the second one is something to hang my scarves on that's hopefully like stands on the floor kind of like a quilt rack or something like that. Number three is something to put business cards in, like a cute little dish. What is number four? Oh, number four, just like a a glass bowl or something to put my scrunchies in. They close soon, so let's uh let's just blow through this.
Yo, the thrift gods were so good to me. I don't know what it is about my parents' goodwill. Actually, it's probably all of the uh, wealthy neighborhoods on the other side of town. It's a small store with just a lot of good stuff. So I was actually prepared to wake up early and go to a few different Goodwills in the morning to find the rest of what I need, but I found everything that I was looking for. I'm pretty happy. I'll give you the uh, the whole haul, maybe in the morning. And yeah, I'm just gonna go home and figure out what else I need to do. <laughs> Good morning. It is 7 a.m. on Friday. The show is tomorrow. Usually I wake up and read while I drink my coffee and this is what I'm reading right now. So it's extra hard today to crochet instead of reading. I'm gonna make some scrunchies this morning and then go dig all of my show stuff out of the car and do a little mock setup and see what we uh, see what we're dealing with. Also before I forget again, yesterday's Starbucks coffee. Hello. You don't like coffee, do you? No. It was sponsored by a lovely one of you. And I forgot to say that while I was drinking the coffee, so this morning's coffee is also sponsored by Shell and Kaz over on Ko-Fi. And they say, thanks for being your beautiful, authentic self, sending love from our home to yours. Enjoy a nice cup of coffee from us. Well, Shell and Kaz, I'm enjoying two cups of coffee, just for you guys, so thank you. If you want to help fuel my caffeine addiction and uh, support the channel, my Ko-Fi link is always in the description. Can I help you, sir? Mama needs to work. That's what I thought. I have made so many scrunchies. Let me, ah! can you hear my bird clock in the background? I think this is all of them. Look at all these scrunchies. I'm feeling pretty good about the scrunchie stock now because I also have probably about 30 of my old scrunchies that aren't like the best quality, but I can still use them as backup. So, got some scrunchies. It's looking like it's gonna be a hot day. I'm not really sure, but it's still pretty cool right now. So I'm gonna use this uh, cool weather to go lug all the stuff out of my car and go through that. It is so nice out right now. It's like 69 and sunny and windy. It's perfect. Hey! Hello? So I need to show you guys what I actually got at Goodwill. They had like three different options for a scarf stand that I could have used. But I went with this one uh, because I liked it the best. 
I don't know what to tell you. So we're just going to give him a little wipe down. Not that dirty. I have no idea what this rack was originally for. If anybody knows, go ahead and tell me. And then they had these, which I wasn't really looking for. But I figured these would be really nice once I have more product, um, like plushies and stuff. This one, I don't know if you can see it, but it is a little bit dirty. These were only, I think, $3.50 each. And the scarf rack was um, $6. See, wouldn't this be cute for like bigger plushies or honestly, I'm thinking like the puzzle balls to just kind of like pile them in here and have people look through them. And also they stack really nicely. I'm probably only gonna bring one to this show because I don't have a lot of stock at all. Okay, I'm very excited about this. Lucked out like crazy with these two matching pieces of fabric. So they were about $7 each. And I think they're originally throw blankets, but they're super long, probably like five feet by four feet, I'm guessing. Ooh, looks a little trippy. And then the last two things, super cute glass bowl for $3.79. It's not crazy heavy, but it's heavy enough that it won't go anywhere if I have a windy venue. And then for a kind of matchy matchy moment, I found these weird little dishes that have wedges. They're Safex brand. If anyone knows what these are, please tell me in the comments, but um, they were only $2.29, so I got two of them for business cards because they're the perfect size. Okay, I'm gonna wipe down the glass a little bit and then um, I don't know what we're gonna do next. We'll find out. I'm running the dishwasher, so I'm sorry if it's super loud in here, but this is what I was using for my prices for the last show. I got this at five below actually. So I have my prices listed and then I just put like a bunch of random stuff over here. But I think I have a wider variety of products and I don't have very many letters left. So I do have, hello. Thank you, Mo. Thank you. That I was using to have a sneak peek of a plushie that I was gonna have that I will not be having for this show. So I think I'm just gonna design a new paper with all the prices on it and just have this. Can I help you, man? Oh, thank you. Okay, wait, this is actually really cute. I really hope my printer can handle this. This actually looks so good. It printed really well. So I guess it was worth it to buy uh, the ink that actually goes with this printer and not just the cheapest one on Amazon. Oh, this frame is just slightly smaller than eight and a half by 11, which is super annoying. Still not good enough. I had to crop it down quite a bit, but it still looks really cute. All right, I need to, wait, where am I? I'm such a mess. I need to weave in all the ends on my scrunchies so I can actually package them up. I'm just gonna chat with you guys while I do this. 
because I haven't really told you much about this show yet. Mostly because I don't know much about this show yet. <laughs> so it's tomorrow, as we all know. Um, my friend, well, let's back it up. I'm sharing a booth with my friend and they sent me like an Instagram post that said uh, last call for vendors or something. And the booth fee was only $25 for a 10 by 10 booth. So obviously we had to snatch that. So we're sharing a 10 by 10 booth, which is why I only have a four foot table. My friend does illustration. Um, you can see their profile right here and I'll probably show you some of their work at the actual show because you're coming with me to the show in this video, by the way. Yeah, so the only thing I know about the show is that it is happening during a roller derby thing. I don't know what you call it, like a game or something or a race. Yeah, I don't know anything about the other vendors. I don't know how many other vendors there are going to be. I don't know if um, our stuff's even going to do well. I have seen no advertisement for this event besides that last call for vendors. Even though I should be stressing out right now, I'm not really because we have no idea what to expect. And I'm assuming since I haven't seen any advertising and the main event is the roller derby, I don't imagine that I will sell out of anything. Especially with that low of a booth fee, I don't really expect much. Like, <laughs> with us splitting it, it was, what, like $12 each? So I'm really not too, too worried. I haven't sold scrunchies in a while, but I figured since it's roller derby, so I figured scrunchies would be a good seller here. I think my keychains would also be a good seller there. But I don't have any made, which is very stressful. So I need to make those today. My friend who I'm selling with is actually coming over at some point today. I'm not sure when. What, you, what time even is it? It's 11.30 right now. But they're coming over to work on another project that we have going on. And then around 5 or 7 or something... We are going to an open house for our friend's company. And then depending on how much energy I have left, I might go to Rocky Horror tonight. I've been wanting to go for a long time. And before I quit my job, I always worked Saturday mornings at like 6 a.m. So I didn't really have the opportunity to go a lot. Luckily the craft show or whatever it is, isn't until, I don't have to be there until 4 p.m. on Saturday. So I can use all day Saturday to prepare for stuff too, which makes me feel a little bit better. Also, look at this scrunchie. I love these colors. All right, I'm gonna finish weaving these things in and then I'm gonna do the same for my plushie nuts. And then we'll pack up some products, I think.
Okay, so everything that is made is finished and uh, lint rolled and packed up. That includes my plushy hammocks, my worm scarves, the pierogies, and the scrunchies. Ooh, yeah, so my friend is on their way up and then I'm gonna be doing stuff for the rest of the night, basically. Good morning. It's 7.30 on the day of the show. My event last night was really cute. Um, I did not end up going to Rocky Horror because I just had too much to do. I am almost done with my second puzzle ball, but I ran out of stuffing <laughs> to finish it, so I have to go to the store and get some stuffing today. And then I was gonna make some more keychains. This is what my keychains look like. But I had to order marbles. They're, uh, they have marbles inside that you can fidget with. I had to order more a little while ago uh, from a different brand than I usually get, and they are bigger than they're supposed to be and they just do not work so I can't have keychains at this market which is kind of a relief because I wouldn't have had time to make them anyway I have to finish the puzzle ball I have to make my mini stingrays and my regular size stingrays It is currently 11.30, and luckily I just remembered that I still need to get change out um, for my cash drawer, and the bank closes in half an hour, so luckily I remembered when I did, because otherwise we would be doing card only today. So I'm going to go get change. Ooh, I have to go get stuffing at um, Michael's real quick to finish that puzzle ball, and then, then we'll only have like three and a half hours until I have to leave, which is very stressful. <laughs> okay, Bag secure. I only took 40 out. I got 21s and four fives. Uh, we will see if that ends up being a disaster or not, because I usually like to have like 200 and change for huge shows, 100 for smaller shows. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'm also low on gas, so I need to do that. What did I say in the last market vlog? We need cash, gas, and a fat ass. <laughs> it's one o'clock already. I have all of my products cleaned up and packaged away. I didn't really think through how to bring these puzzle balls. I have uh, not prepped anything like logistics wise and I definitely don't have time to test out my setup. So I'm gonna pack up everything else and eat some lunch. This is my personal tackle box for craft shows. It's a vintage Samsonite like toolbox makeup toiletry thing so it has this thing that comes out and I haven't cleaned this out since my October show so I have like some old signage and this will just fit all of my essentials so we'll start by stocking the money case Also got some little notebooks. This one is just to keep right beside me and keep track of sales. And then this one is more for show notes or patterns or email listing or anything else that I need to add. And then on top, sometimes I have a dry erase board, but I don't think I'm gonna have one today. So I'm just gonna take all of these out. 
I also have a ton of business cards. I have my little square reader and a charger for something. I'm not really sure what this is a charger for. Um, some Velcro tape, some safety pins, adding a lint roller for the tablecloth, some hand sanitizer, my little glass business card things, and the letters for one of my display boards. All right, let me take you through the bags that I'm bringing. I got this super cute bread bag from my friend Michelle. Somebody was asking where I got it in the last video, um, but I have not asked her where she got it yet. So, sorry. But in here, I always keep a project to work on. Um, my iPad will go in here when it's done charging because that's what I use for my POS. Sorry if you can hear the geese in the background. <laughs> um, water bottle will go in here. This is my like personal, personal bag. It does not come off of me once I get to the show. It has um, my personal money, my ID, pens, chapstick, lotion, hand sanitizer, and still have my phone in there and my keys. I also like to bring around extra business cards when I walk around so if I talk to other vendors I can just give them my business card and say like hey we can uh, chat later also I just did not realize that the TV was on so I might just have to voice over this part helping businesses both large and small communities and the people who live and work there grow and thrive we're proud to call the only Ping Clubs. You can get free sensors and a free trial to the Arcos Caddy app. Visit ping.arcosgolf.com to get started. Oh, It's almost three o'clock. The email said to be there by four o'clock, so we're gonna try to get there before four. My friend is on their way up right now and will probably grab a snack. I need some coffee. The car is all packed up. When I took the, uh, the big box down, one of my cats ran out and uh, chased all the geese away that were outside, so that was fun. Um, she's fine. So let's talk goals for this show. The booth fee was only 25 to split between the two of us. So like 12, 13 bucks each. I have to break even. If I don't break even, it's definitely a failed show. If I'm being honest with myself with the amount of work that I put in this week, I feel like I'll be a little bit disappointed with anything under 100 today. Um, just because I've been working nonstop the last few days. Yeah, so 100 would be really nice. I don't think that's gonna happen because, like I said, there hasn't been much advertising for this event. I don't know if people even know that there's gonna be vendors. And then, um, I don't have my two, like, best-selling small ticket item things, so I don't have my keychains and I don't have my small stingrays, so... Most of my stuff is like big ticket items and then a bunch of scrunchies. 
So I don't see 100 happening. So I will probably just see you guys at the market. I'll show you how that's going. And then when I get home, we will do a little recap.
let's talk some business. So I did not film us tearing down because it was so cold in there <laughs> and we just wanted to go home. Every market I've been to before has been like super hot. So I expected the same today, but it was very, very cold. And also I'm gonna tell you guys a secret. I usually go to bed between like 9 and 10 p.m. and it's 10.30 and I'm very sleepy. So I'm gonna give you a little market breakdown, but before I do, a little channel announcement. As soon as I get to 5,000 subscribers, which is pretty soon, I think we're a little over 100 away right now, I am opening a Discord channel for this channel. Discord server? Discord server for this channel. Let the Winnies breathe. So yeah, if that is something you're interested in, just get 100 of your friends to subscribe real quick and it'll be all yours. Okay, back to business. This was not the worst craft market I've done. That being said, it was not great. <laughs> I was totally right in the fact that the people there weren't really there to buy stuff. <coughs> it was so cold in there. But yeah, everyone there was there to watch someone roller derby wise. And it was $10 to even get in and watch the roller derby. So like there was no one there just to buy stuff at the market. And there were only eight vendors. So we were just kind of like a sideshow to the roller derby show. So it was a lot of people who just weren't really there to spend money. <coughs> the vibe was definitely a little bit off. So let me run you through the numbers. Are you ready for this? In five hours, I sold, drum roll please, 3 items. <laughs> I sold a 2 for 2 for 10 scrunchies. I don't want to think about the grammar of what I just said. <laughs> so I sold 2 scrunchies for $10 and then I sold a pierogi. Who the girl who bought the scrunchies bought them in like the first 10 minutes and then she came back in the last 10 minutes and bought the pierogi. <laughs> so I technically only had one customer. And once again, the booth fee was 25, but we split it between the two of us. I ended up paying 15 of that 25. And the scrunchies together were $10 and the pierogi was 25. So I made 35 in sales minus the 15. So I made 20 bucks. <laughs> and I mean, 20 bucks is 20 bucks, you know what they say? But for five hours of showtime and the three straight days I was crocheting. It's a bit of a disappointment. However, it was good to kind of ease me back into markets and I did have a lot of new products that I haven't had before. People really liked the puzzle balls. I wrote in my notes that in the future I want to have a, um, like you know, my brain is so fried. <laughs> you know what, like Bath and Body Works, how they have like a sampler or like there's always like a sampler of a beauty product or something. Um, I want to have like a sampler puzzle ball that people can play with because I kept like challenging people to take it apart and put it back together. But I was worried about like them loosening up or something or like it was kind of annoying too if they didn't like put it back together perfectly to reach over and fix it real quick. So I definitely want to have like a test one that the customers can play with and then like the ones that they can actually buy. And I definitely needed to have those lower priced items for this show because as I said, people weren't there to buy stuff. So it would be better to have like little things that they could justify buying. Um, Nova made $51, I think, across two sales. I think one sale was like ten dollars and one was 41 so they made i think 40 in profit which is it's okay when we were leaving one of the girls invited us to the next show in june and i would not be opposed 
to going as long as there's not a bigger craft show on that day. I will definitely prepare better knowing what to expect next time. I don't think I realized how cold it was in there. It's not gonna pick up on camera, but my hands are like red <laughs> and swelling like when I go skiing and I keep sneezing. So I'm gonna go make some tea and watch TikTok or something and then fall asleep. Thank you guys for coming with me on this market day and all the prep and craziness. Oh, and also, um, if you saw something that you wanna buy, my Etsy is in the description and also Nova's is in the description as well. They're my good friend, but also their art is just really good. <laughs> so if you wanna get some cute keychains and stuff, um, their shop is linked below too. And I have a lot of markets coming up, actually. So if market vlogs are your thing, there's a convenient little subscribe button down there. And as always, I'd love to see you guys in the comments. And I will see you next week.